What's up guys, I'm Shane and this is Spare Change. If you've got a passion for new movies and for new audio and video gear, then hit the subscribe button for new weekly videos. In for review, we have Alita Battle Angel on 4K Blu-ray. I'm not here to review the movie itself, I'm just going to share my thoughts on the video and the audio quality. Now for a few tech specs. The movie was shot in 3.4K, it's got a 2K DI, it's rated R, runtime is 122 minutes, aspect ratio is 239 by 1. So yes, there are black bars in this movie. Now this is a good looking movie. I was kind of expecting a crazy sharp 4K digitally clean transfer, but it is a bit softer than I anticipated. There does seem to be a very thin veil of noise or maybe some artificial grain added in. It is harder to notice on my smaller 75 and 65 inch TV sets, but on my 126, it's easily noticeable. That being said, there are some excellent details here. Close up shots are gonna be full of the finest digitally rendered nuances. You can make out the skin texture, eyelashes, and the tiniest details in Alita's face. Zapan's metallic body and all the intricate mechanical inner workings looked almost photorealistic. Of course, most of this movie is all digital, so the blending of live action and CG isn't always perfect. Some of the digital backgrounds can appear somewhat flattish. But overall, I did find the image to have a very good sense of depth, especially in the outdoor shots within the city. And the detail in the city with all the buildings and the dirt and debris on the streets look fantastic. HDR does give black level some enhanced contrast to make the picture pop and there was really good shadow detail in this. As a lot of this movie does happen in darkened environments, having HDR does help to keep those details from being crushed. Now the color palette isn't going to wow you with bright bold colors and this HDR presentation is a bit dim, but there are smooth gradations seen throughout the many brighter outdoor skyline shots and darker transitions from blacks and grays in the nighttime shots also benefited from HDR. Colors do pop nicely against the darker backdrops, and spectral highlights from lights during the rollerball sequence in chapter 28 do sparkle quite nicely, and flames and explosions may make you squint. But like I said, it can be kind of dim at times. Mm. That's so good. Audio was done in Dolby Atmos, and I thought the height channels were modestly used. There's a cool effect in chapter 4 when the centurion walks over Alita, and you can hear it pass above your head in a very mechanical way. The underground fight scene in chapter 21 is one of the better surround moments when Alita is dipping and dodging Gruishka's fingers. I found that there was mostly lighter ambiance in the surround and the height channels, and I also found myself sticking my head up to the height speakers just to make sure I had them turned on, but there just wasn't that much going on up top. Bass response was also a lot weaker than I expected. The rollerball scene in chapter 28 I thought would be the best part of this movie, but again, it was just okay. Soundstage was average, but dialogue was always easy to hear. So for audio, I'm going to go with a 7. I had some high hopes for this. I thought I was going to hear a bustling, busy city atmosphere with some amazing Atmos effects, but I didn't get any of that. Kind of ruined the enjoyment of this movie for me. For video, I'm going to go with an 8.9. There's some 4K clean shots, and there's a bunch of soft ones too. The HDR was really good, albeit the image can seem a bit dim. But overall, this is a great looking movie. Now I wonder what the 3D version looks like. Well, if you guys want to pick up this disc, I'll leave some links down below in the description. Leave us a comment and let us know your thoughts on this 4K transfer. You can follow us on social media, and if you want to support the channel and be entered to win a copy of Alita Battle Angel on 4K Blu-ray, then stop by our Patreon page. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys again in the next one.